Shalom. Kahalayim la Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rachakudash. Double honors unto our apostles and others at Great Millstone that rule well. Much peace and blessings to all you sons of Akim out there is pushing this 100% truth. With all sincerity, faith, and with charity, it's your brother Oz from the Great Millstone Miami camp. Coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rachakudash. Low and the Zedifying. We're coming into the last stretch. We're coming into the home stretch of this thing of ours. Okay? And I'm going to go into what I mean by that. I have a Google definition for what does last stretch mean. Okay? And this is from Merriam-Webster. And it says the final straight part. Okay. The final straight part of a race course before the finish line. I.e. the horses are in the final stretch. Often used figuratively. She's in the final stretch. The baby's due next month. Okay. So, it's talking about being at the, you know, close to the end. Not at the end, but being close to the end of a race. That's what it means to be at the last stretch. Now, the scriptures tell us that this thing of ours, this which really, when you look at it, it is, it's the whole, this whole movie that we're in, life itself on earth, which we know us to have uh, this truth, us of, of, of who the Lord has enlightened with his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We, under, we understand that the events that have taken place on this earth that are taking place right now and that will take place in the future all revolve around prophecy all revolve around the word of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai <laughs> and it was all set up before the, the, the creation of the world you have all these different people living their mundane lives everyday humdrum lives wake up go to work eat you even have these higher level people that uh you know have somewhat control of, or power in the world and and they run a lot of industries and and, and get the gears turning on the on, on the earth and they may seem in the eyes of people to be powerful people and influencers, social uh, engineers and whatnot. But at the end of the day, the most important people on the, on the planet Earth are the elect. Those uh, predetermined souls that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His Son, Yahweh Shai, have chosen to be delivered from the great destruction to come the day of the Lord which is judgment day okay the day that the Lord is going to judge every person on earth according to their works okay and that that's the end of the race right there that's 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 uh the finish line Okay, just that's why our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai said, He that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. Winning a race is equivalent to you being saved, you being delivered. That's winning the race. And that's what we're striving for. Us that have this 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 truth. We're striving to complete this race so that we may be delivered. And we say it all the time. The scriptures also say it. 
And we also say all the time that this is not a sprint. This is not a, a, a drag race, so to speak. This is not a, a 40, 40 yard dash. This is a marathon. This is a marathon race. This is an endurance test. Okay. And we always say that, you know, to uh, let brothers know not to burn yourselves out. Because the scriptures talk about each of us having our own measure. Each of us having our own portion. Not eating too much honey. Not being over righteous. So we all have to go out on pace. The scriptures, uh, Yahweh Shai said, some 30 fold, some 60, some 100. Of, of those that, fe uh, you know, those of which the seed fell on the good ground. Talking about the elect, the minds of the elect. All right, the seed being the word. And and, it, and it's taking off, it's prospering in, in, in the minds of the elect. Which, Lord willing, we hope we are. But knowing that we are in the last stretch, the final stretch, and how do we know that? Because of the prophecies. As the scriptures tell us, like it's written in second edge of the ninth chapter, measure the time diligently in itself. So we can clearly see because of the, the different events that's taking place on the planet Earth that we're coming into the last stretch final part of the race so knowing seeing as as we get closer and closer to that day we should be moving as such we should be moving with more of a sense of urgency talking to myself first and foremost okay we should we should be and when you when you watch when you watch uh you know different professional uh sprinters and people that run marathons you see when they when they get when they get when you see the finish line you know because they 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 go on a this you know diff court this curve that corner they're rounded you, you don't see the actual finish line until you get close to the end right well we can actually see the finish line now and when you watch these different uh professional racers when they see the finish line that's that's when they that's when they uh sprint it's like they 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 keep a uh a, a sort of extra uh reserve gas in the tank so that when they actually see the finish line then they just they let it all they, they let it all out man they they hit the gas because you, you can see the finish line. You know you're not going to burn out. Because <laughs> you see the finish line right there. So spiritually, like I said, like we always say, we, 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 we all have our pace. We all have our portion. But as we see the day approaching, as the scriptures say, as we see the finish line, we should be sprinting. Okay? And like I said, I'm talking to myself first. And what do we mean by that? Sprinting. Okay, first and foremost, doing the work, being on fire for you. How about Shmuel Shai? As we yet have opportunity, okay, while we yet have liberty, the hour coming when no man can work. Uh, also, the scriptures also speaking about uh, exhorting one another daily. Hence the 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 uh, the, the point of this vi uh, this video. As a matter of fact, I opened up with that. Okay, this is Hebrews chapter 10, I believe, and verse 23, let us hold fast the profession of our faith, nothing wavering or without wavering, for he is faithful that promise, talking about the heavenly father, Yahweh, he is faithful that promised us uh, the kingdom of heaven, okay, he's going to hold up his end of the bargain if we uphold our end of the bargain, verse 24, And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. So you got to be a team player in this in this thing of ours. 
you got to consider the 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 elect you got to consider the 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 body as uh Paul said you endure all things for the elect's sake we understand that the, the elect got to be built up before uh this deal before the whole deal goes down so you should be doing what you got to do to help edify the body build up the body verse 25 and it's the key point not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is and what's the assembling of ourselves together when whenever brothers are around whenever brothers is uh fellowshipping congregating and also we're we're assembling through the the, the videos through the lessons through the word going out as the manner of some is but exhorting one another just like you have the apostle gabar okay his channel daily edification daily exhortation right it says but exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching okay so much the more as you see the day approaching so just like we gave the analogy with the as the finish line when the racers are a uh, professional racer sees the the finish line they already know okay i got this reserve energy that i've been storing that i ain't used yet because i don't want to burn myself out but i see the finish line coming so i know i can't burn myself out if i give it all i got i'm gonna I'm go through the finish line i'll 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 get my energy back after the race is over you feel me now now i could spend that that I, now i could go as fast as 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 i can okay and that's that's how we should be in this thing of ours spiritually okay like i said talking to myself first all right this is hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 wherefore seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses Right, just like you have uh, any professional, just like in the Olympics and you have uh, different marathon runners and sprinters and things of that nature. You know, Olympic Olympic athletes, Olympians, they, what, it's, it's a spectator sport. They got people watching them. That's, that's how we are. We, we're, the scripture said we are made a spectacle unto angels and unto men. The Heavenly Father is watching, Yahweh Shai is, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai is watching, the angels watching. Okay, this thing is going, this thing, this thing is going to go down in history. Lord, when we be those men, our names is going to uh, be written in the book of life. These stories is going to be talked about for eternity. So knowing that, okay, just like you got these, these different sprinters and racers. Uh, uh, let's say Jesse Owens. He still, you know, talked about to this day and different other uh, sprinters and racers. They know that they're, they're going to be part of history. So it's like I, 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 the, the, the spotlight is on me. The pressure is on me. I got I to gotta make it count. So how much more us? You know, scripts say they do it for a corruptible crown. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so, doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Okay, and any any if if you running, if you run in a race, right? If you lay aside a weight, what does a weight do? A weight. It weighs you down. It slows you down. So if you laying aside a weight, if you if you putting off something that slow you down, what that mean? That mean you gonna go faster. So spiritually, we we should in, in, in at this time that we're in, seeing the day approaching, seeing the finish line, we should be moving faster. We should be putting off uh, the 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 weight, anything that's holding us back, anything that's slowing us down. And giving this thing all we got. Okay. Whatever the uh, different 
uh, things in the flesh that that we all know that we deal with certain you know uh how can i say certain uh things you may deal with in the flesh certain problems you we we know we have certain uh demons we deal with okay we 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 all know okay well, none of us is perfect the heavenly father knows our weaknesses so we we can't uh ignore that we have to confront him and, and be straight up and and now is the time like i said i'm talking to myself first now, this is the time now while we have yet liberty okay <laughs> we all know that those those sin that which so easily beset us now is the time to put that off so that you can go faster all right verse 2 looking unto yahweh shai the author and finisher of our faith which you know that where author goes into uh someone who started it the originator okay just like it says in philippians the first chapter he which begun this good work in you shall perform it unto the day of hamashiach so Yahweh Shai is the one that started this this uh, work in us, and He's the one that is doing the work through us. And Lord will, He's going to continue to until the end. That should be our faith. Who for the joy that was set before Him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of the Most High. You see, so Yahweh Shai, He He had His last stretch. We could read about that in the scriptures when when he was taken. Okay, or even before that, when he was in the garden of Gethsemane, he was praying, and the scriptures say he was sweating blood, and he he was scriptures say he was uh, heavy in the spirit. His his uh, you know, paraphrasing it, scriptures say he 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 uh he was grieved, man, because he knew what was getting ready to happen. He was praying to the Father, the Father wasn't answering him because he was praying for you know if if there be another way but but the heavenly father was telling him no nah, there ain't no no uh, other way so yahweh had his his final stretch and he he had to deal with it and and guess what he dealt with it and the scriptures tell you why he dealt with it or what was one of the things that helped him deal with it was knowing what was going to come after if he endured after he won the race and that's how we should think okay because you may get tired just like a, 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 a actual sprinter it, it, of course you're gonna get more tired the uh the closer you get to the finish line but you gotta think about winning that's the you gotta have a victorious mindset that's the only thing that should be on your mind is win 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 winning winning and after after I won the race then and then you you always see as soon as they <laughs> they they cross the finish line then they uh then they rest then you see them take that that huge breath or or uh sometimes you see them fall out okay soon after they they passed the line but guess what they they finished you see for the joy that was set before him the joy of what the kingdom Okay, so that's how that's how we should be thinking. All right. It says, "For considering him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, least you be worried and faint in your minds." Right. So we can't be faint. All right. And I'm gonna jump down low when I close out. All right. I just want to jump down to uh, verse 12. Okay. It says, "Wherefore lift up the hands which hang down." and the feeble knees okay so we gotta pick it up pick up the pace pick up the pace like i said talking to myself first just like a, a analogy of a race okay verse 13 and make straight paths for your feet okay just like we read go back to the definition right the merriam webster said what the final straight part of a race course before the finish line all right 
So that's why the scriptures say what? And make straight paths for your feet. All right, this, this is the sprint. This is the last stretch. Let that which is lame be turned out of the way, but let it rather be healed. Okay, so we, we can't, we, we're not lame. Okay, we're not disabled. We're not handicapped. The Most High gave us uh, a spiritual, able body to perform uh, what's necessary in this spiritual race in order for us to obtain the victory. He gave us every tool, every spiritual resource, spiritual gift. Okay, that's needed for us to endure to the end. Lord, when we be of the elect, he gave us the faith. He gave us the, the Holy Spirit, the down payment, the earnest of the spirit. And, and at the end of the day, he with us. So it's, 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 our, it's on us to uh, hold up our end of the bargain, so to speak. Okay. So this is just something I wanted to go on through through the spirit. I believe the point was made. I want to give all praise and the glory unto Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, Bashmi Hakodash, and to the next lesson, Shalom.